Hi, this is Peter Bonner again with the Saving Terra Project. I'm back here in the dairy barn slash museum as we uh, go through the pieces of the most iconic of all movie sets, the Terra Facade from Gone with the Wind. It is here in Georgia, it's just south of Atlanta. And myself and my crew, we're taking uh, each piece and going through it. They were uh, inventoried and numbered about 20 years ago and we're going through and we've We've renumbered, uh, we've actually taken the old numbers if they had them and checked them against the list and added a new number, uh, added the same number so we we'll keep up with everything. But uh, uh, over the last uh, weekend, we've been putting together the side steps, uh, that long set of steps that the soldiers sat on uh, in Gone with the Wind on the side porch. And uh, there's a piece here called a bullnose. No, that's not something that you say to somebody when you want them to hurt, your, when you want to hurt their feelings. This is a piece of wood, it's rounded and it went on the end of uh, these steps to create a rounded look. Here it is here, the bull nose. Well, as we go through this, uh, these things, I mentioned, to this, I mentioned this to uh, the viewers before, we need to remember the word ghost. Ghost is important around here because we do not want to attach anything that was not attached originally. We do not want to take this piece and just slap it on the end of a board and say, well, it looks like it fits right there. Well, first we're going to look at all the nail holes. We're going to look at how it fits. We're going to match up the holes with the nails. If there's still nails on here, we're going to match them up with the holes. If the nails are here, we're, you know what we're saying. We're going to make sure that all of that fits because I want to know that this piece here was the piece that was nailed on here in 1938 um, when they filmed Gone with the Wind. And the way we do that is, I'm going to turn this over. You'll see, of course, the, there's some nail holes here and some nails here. We would actually go through and if we thought this was going on the side of one of these, let's see if I show you how they would fit. See how that would fit together. This one's not the correct one, of course, but if we're trying to figure this out, we'll go around and go around and we'll start looking at nail holes because the nail holes, there's no way to be exact and put the nails, each nail all the way around here going to be in the same spot. So you're going to have some deviant, uh, deviation uh, from that. And because of that, that's what we'll use as a telltale sign that this piece went on a particular board. And that's the ghost that we're looking for. So the ghosts here were considered. And in fact, I can tell you that when my volunteers put these pieces of bull nose on the front of these uh, steps, they were not here when uh, we began setting this up. This is actually where it comes into the, the back porch. Um, I had them look and check and double check. Then I had them have their friends that were working with them check and double check and then I came over and checked and double checked and they can tell you that they pulled out the finishing nails, the headless nails and uh, then they were able to push them back in and actually uh, hold the bull nose to the wood without even a hammer because the, the, the sight fit exactly. So we want to make sure that we're not damaging this in any way, we're not, uh, we're not changing the look of anything by taking a piece that was actually at another site and moving it over here. So once again, you can see the, the forensics it goes into the working with the Terra Facade and the Saving Terra Project. We're back once again with the Saving Terra Project. I uh, spoke a moment ago about the ghosts. I just want to give you a little more idea about it. I don't want to belabor the point, but so you'll understand better. Uh, this was one of the nails we've found around here pulled out of something but just to give you an idea there's a piece of the bull nose that when it came here it was busted um, we we haven't done anything to it I'm not going to change anything I don't know what will be done uh, uh, eventually with this but my job is not to destroy this and and add a piece of plastic to it or another piece of wood I'm going to leave it alone but just want to show you this is where a nail was driven at one point whether or not it caused the split I don't know but uh, you can see how the nail fits into the hole and the hole and ridge work together and that's part of the ghosting that they would be looking for to make sure that this piece is where it's supposed to be they checked all the other holes they all fit you can see how these should fit yep they do <laughs> I'm so glad 
<laughs> Look pretty funny here on camera showing you a ghost that wasn't a ghost. But once again, you get an idea of what it takes for my volunteers, for myself as we go through these pieces to make sure that we're not, um, we're not building a, uh, a piece of the terra facade with pieces that go on the other side of the house or, or not at all. So once again, another one of the great little stories from the Saving Terra Project.